Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Webpilot ChatGPT plugin to browse and answer your questions about pages, PDF and data, generate articles from one or more URLs. So before I would show you an example on how to use Webpilot, first let's see some use cases. So I have a full article on my website that you can check out by using the link in the description below. And here I list out some of the best use cases for the Webpilot ChatGPT plugin. So as you can see, you can use this plugin to extract specific information from a web page. For example, you could use it to pull the latest news articles from a news website. You can use then the plugin to summarize the content of that web page or that blog post. You can also use this plugin to translate the text on that web page and then rewrite the page. You can also use this plugin for rest scraping and a ton of stuff as you can read here. As I mentioned, I will link the URL of this article in the description below. If you want to get the full database of all ChatGPT plugins that are currently available in the ChatGPT plugin store and uh, the best prompts you can use these ChatGPT plugins with, I also have a link to the database I give away for free, so you can check that out as well. But now let's see how to use the Webpilot ChatGPT plugin. So first all you have to do is make sure that ChatGPT plugins are enabled in your ChatGPT the account so you can check that by clicking on your account name and selecting settings and selecting beta features and then make sure that plugins are enabled here then you also have to install the webpilot chat gpt plugin so click on new chat select gpt4 select plugins and click on the plugin icons here and make sure that the plugin is installed if you cannot see the webpilot plugin here in the installed list you can click on plugin store and install the chat gpt plugin by clicking on install here I have already done that, that's why I see uninstall here. And last but not least, you also have to make sure that the plugin is enabled when you want to interact with the plugin. All right, so let's see an example. So as I mentioned, I have this article on how to use the Webpilot ChatGPT plugin. Let's use the plugin to translate this to Spanish. So all I need is the URL of the article, then let's add the prompt. All you have to do is use natural language to ask the Webpilot ChatGPT plugin to do what you want, then add the URL. You can also add multiple URLs if you want to do that, then click on generate. And if the plugin is activated, we're gonna see a green cell here. So as you can see using Webpilot, it fetches the URL you have provided. The user has request is true, and now uh, it's gonna scrape the complete article and use that data to translate that article to Spanish. So as you can see, it has scraped the complete article and now ChatGPT is using this content to translate that to Spanish. So this is just one use case of the many use cases this Webpilot ChatGPT plugin has. So as I mentioned, if you want to learn more about this plugin, make sure to check out my article on rihex.com. This article and you can also find out some great, great prompts there you can use this plugin with and you can also get access to the full database of the currently available ChatGPT plugins and the best ChatGPT prompts you can use those plugins with. And if you want to learn more about other ChatGPT plugins, make sure to check out my YouTube channel as well, where I have a ton of tutorials on ChatGPT and ChatGPT plugins.